Swati Krupp and welcome to Thailand News Today. Now, as you can see, we're not in our studio or our office today. We've come out into the uh, great outdoors here in Bangkok. And we're actually at the Asok VTS station. As you can hear, there's quite a lot of noise. We'll do our best to uh, battle the noise and bring you up to date with what's happening around Thailand. Why are we here? Well, there was going to be a protest uh, from two o'clock today at the Asok VTS station and, well, most other VTS stations. The one here at Asok certainly hasn't uh, come to pass, but in the meantime, we'll bring you today's news. Well, last year, there were nearly 40 million tourists arriving here in Thailand. Yesterday, it was just 41. A long, long way from the 110,000 or so tourists that used to arrive on average each day last year. Yesterday, the kingdom welcomed its first tourists in seven months with the arrival of 41 Chinese tourists from Shanghai. The group landed at Bangkok's Sawanapum Airport on a chartered flight laid on by Spring Airlines, a low-cost Chinese carrier. The visitors are here on the recently launched special tourist visa and had to download a special app to track their movements while in Thailand. They were bundled off to their 14-day quarantine before they can explore the rest of the country. The STV grants them a stay of up to 90 days and can be extended twice. Now, according to the TAT, most of them plan to visit the beaches and already have reserved hotel rooms. Now, if you are wishing to apply for the STV, your first port of call will be your local Thai embassy and the thailongstay.co.th website. Good luck. To some protest news and two of the main protest leaders who were bailed out yesterday have now been re-arrested. Well, certainly where we're standing here, we've got our own background music, but we'll push on. The two were being held on charges of violating the state of emergency and released alongside a fellow protester after Tamasat University professors paid bail of 200,000 baht for each of them. But the initial two were promptly re-arrested on the basis of another warrant issued by police, this time charged over another mass gathering in violation of the state of emergency. They're being held pending another detention request being filed by police. A petition calling on the resignation of the Thai Prime Minister has been signed by nearly 1,200 academics from around Thailand. The petition was created by the Thai Academic Network for Civil Rights. A group of university lecturers and students marched to Government House to deliver the letter. In the letter, academics slammed the government's clampdown on an October 16 rally in Bangkok when police used high-powered water cannons, allegedly laced with blue-dyed chemical irritants, to disperse protesters at the Patamon intersection. Police have denied the use of any chemical irritants. They're also calling on the government to refrain from violence when dealing with protesters to stop the gagging of government critics and to put an end to laws that infringe on freedom of speech. Protesters are also calling for a rewrite of the 2017 Thai Charter and for reforms to the role of the Thai monarchy. Bangkok's iconic Khao San Road has emerged from the, well, the local coronavirus outbreak with a little bit of a makeover. Not only are the backpackers gone from the backpacker mecca, but the road in Bangkok's Banglampu district has gone through a street makeover. Now Bangkok officials plan to hold events for all ages during the daytime during Halloween. But chaos can still be expected at night, even if it's mostly Thai customers at the moment, as Thailand waits for the re-emergence of some sort of tourism industry. Some 50 million baht was poured into a revamp of the tatty old Khao San Road, improving the drainage system and levelling out the road and sidewalk. There's now designated space reserved for emergency vehicles. You're invited to join in some Halloween celebrations at the new Khao San Road on October the 30th and the 31st. Events for kids will start as early as 9.30 a.m. If you can't get back into Thailand to enjoy that, well, you're just going to have to enjoy Halloween by yourself. 
and Hong Kong airline Cathay Pacific is set to close down its subsidiary Cathay Dragon with a loss of some 5,900 jobs. The carrier that used to be called Dragon Air before being absorbed by Cathay has become yet another casualty of the COVID-19 pandemic that's decimated the world's aviation business. 5,300 jobs are expected to go in the airline's Hong Kong base with a further 600 axed in their overseas offices and operations. In total, some 17% of Cathay's total workforce. Cathay Dragon primarily operated short haul routes within Asia, including direct flights from Hong Kong to Bangkok and Phuket. That's all the main news from Thailand today from the BTS Asok station where the protests never actually happened. But I suspect something might be happening later today. We'll certainly keep you up to date on thetiger.com. Also, two new videos we've got on our YouTube channel. One is about the top 10 things that have changed forever in regards to technology. And another one yesterday, a lot of fun, about the Yasaton Rocket Festival. If you haven't seen it, you won't believe it. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.